Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss how to write a report. Now, there are variety of reports such as newspaper reports or writing a report about some campaign or uh, some event organized by some organization, school, college, any institution. So there are different kind of reports. Now, from this uh, year, from this session, CBSC has included report writing in the course. So students must know and must be prepared how to write a proper report because it will be a 10 marks question and will be in option with article or speech as it has been earlier there in CBSC exams and had been removed but now this year again it has been included in the course and so as it has been included in the later part of this session this information has come out only uh, recently so it has been given an option along with article or speech so let's see what is the allocation of marks layout one mark content four marks expression five marks so your layout means the title of the report and the byline byline means the name of the correspondent the name of the reporter and place and date of the incident happen so for this you will get one mark then content, content is your subject matter, whatever you write about, what, where, when, how, all these, how you answer these questions, these make your content. An expression is relevance, coherence, fluency, style, grammar and spelling. So all these things make your expression. Expression comprises all these things now let's come to the format so format as we just informed first it will be a title And after title, there will be a byline, then you will write place and date and after date a column and then you write the report. So title, suppose you have given a title here like uh, for example, PNB looted. So suppose you give this title PNB looted or state bank looted or uh, train derailed or whatever title you give. After that, you will write the name of the reporter like this by and whatever the name given. So that name is to be included here, whatever name is given to you, if not, in that case, you can write staff correspondent, staff correspondent. This can be written. If the name is given, write the name. If the name is not given, then write star correspondent. So this is the way we write the byline. And after byline, there is place and date. So whatever city uh, uh, the incident happened in whatever city, the name of that city must be written. The name of that place must be written and the date. For example, the incidents 
happened in Delhi. So you will write New Delhi, Old Delhi, or even in Delhi, if there is that certain place or uh, <clears throat> where it has happened, you want to specify it more. If you want, uh, if you if the report is published on the particular page of that city, like there are, for example, uh, a newspaper has that nationwide publication in that case uh, for example if the newspaper is published from Rajasthan Jaipur in that case you will write even the name of that small place the town where the incidents happen so that is what do we do in newspaper reports this is the way and after place we write date and after a date we put colon and then we start writing the report now <clears throat> so what things must be included in the report how to include all the relevant points in the report so that is what we are now going to discuss for example if the report is related to some accident or some mishappening So, what can be written in such case? First, you begin with what, when, where, how, why. So, these things will help you a lot to write that what happened, when happened, where happened, how that happened and why that happened. So if you answer all these questions, you, uh, you will find it quite easy to write or complete around 150 to 200 words, which is generally the limit of report writing uh, in your exams. So you won't be at a loss that uh, you won't be puzzled what to write, how to uh, build up that much matter. So there won't be any such problem if you have these points. Second, still, now we can break these things in several other points. For example, you can mention about description of scene. You can mention about description of scene, like uh, whatever is there, if some casualty has happened, that how many people uh, were lying about here and there, what was happening. So all that uh, required to describe a scene that can be used. Now, you may mention about people and things involved so how many people and things were involved in that particular uh, incidents or in that particular accident so that can be uh, mentioned here next is loss of property and life so in such cases or accidents this happen that people die uh, there is a great loss of public property or private property so uh, what was lost how many lives were lost how many casualties happen so all that can be included 
as well in the report and you must also write about rescue operation help by the localites helpline number so this can also be mentioned that what is the rescue operation going on if there is some serious uh, thing which has happened like uh, some flood or earthquake or a train accident has happened so definitely rescue operation must be conducted there so uh, what kind of rescue operation is going on there has army been called or only the police or the localites are helping or doing uh, rescuing the people so how it is that can be mentioned help by the localites local involvement in such kind of things can be mentioned helpline numbers uh, those who are away uh, like away from their families their relatives so how can they know about the condition of their relatives so for that helpline numbers can be given or a line can be mentioned about helpline numbers and we can also mention about visit by authorities or ministers so if any minister is going to visit or has visited if any authority is going to visit or has visited so that information should also be mentioned promise announcement by ministers for example like if people have lost their lives so the announcement like the dependent of the departed soul the dependent of the dead people will be given this much amount or those who have suffered serious injuries they will be given this much amount so this kind of promises or announcement can be met which we generally see in newspapers so this is what is to be included in newspaper reports pertaining to some accident or some this happening and we can also mention alleged reports statements made by officials so some alleged reports that it has been allegedly said allegedly said means which is not sure which is not confirmed uh, there is no uh, perfect proof of that there is no perfect evidence of that it has only been heard people saying so that kind of thing is also mentioned in the uh, report such reports or the statement made by some minister or some high ranking official can also be included for example uh, 
the railway minister Suresh Prabhu said this this so in inverted commas that the, uh, the statement made by the railway minister can be given or like the authorities the DRM uh, visited the scene and said that an inquiry commission will be set up to find out the loopholes or find out the weaknesses in the system or prob uh, where uh, it was where was the mistake lying so that kind of thing can be given in inverted commas so and i i i'll say that that must be included it will uh, enhance the beauty of your report it will enhance the authenticity of your, your report so uh, and definitely will get you more marks if you include that kind of statements in your report you put that in inverted commas definitely that will be a plus for you and in the end you can include some suggestion or warning So you can uh, make a suggestion, you can make an opinion, you can, uh, you can warn people. So that kind of thing should also be included in the end. So that completes your newspaper report about a mishappening or an accident. Okay. So you must remember these points. So normally what we wrote in the beginning, what, when, where, how and why, that includes all the things still to make it more convenient for you. We have mentioned different other points and if you don't remember any by these, this method, definitely you, you will be able to recall all the proper things to be written in the report. Right? Now there is another kind of report, there is another variety of report that is about any event so let's see what should be there Suppose if the report is about some event, in that case, the same thing would be discussed in accidents or mishappenings. So the same thing is here. What, when, where, why. How? So all these things are an essential part of all the writing compositions, all the long compositions, right? So in all long compositions, these things must be thought upon and then properly delivered as well. Now, here you can mention about the organization or institution which has organized the event. For example, it is a health checkup camp or some blood donation camp, eye checkup camp. So such kind of camps are organized or there may be several other events as well. So in that case, which organization is involved in that, that must be mentioned. Then you can mention about the chief guest and inauguration 
that who was the chief guest and how was the program inaugurated so <clears throat> to inaugurate it may be lighting lamps you can mention about this lighting lamps or some welcome song or any welcome program whatever is there that how was the program inaugurated by the chief guest was the uh, the things like the activity like lighting lamps or there was any welcome song or any other welcome program so that should be mentioned in the beginning and you can also mention about the host or the convener who is hosting who is the host uh, here i don't mean the organization simply one who is at the stage one who holds the stage and then um, <coughs> conducts the programs so about the host or convener we can mention something and then we can also mention the list of the programs for example if it is a function at school then whatever program as go are going to be conducted is the dance mono act solo song group song group dance skit so the list of programs so you can mention about that as well and you can mention about the annual report if it is a function at school then annual report can be read or if it is something else then at the end of that program you can make, you can have a briefing of all that was done there at the event or at the program if it was as i earlier mentioned eye checkup camp or health checkup camp or any other activity so whatever happened in that duration if it was some 3 days camp or something like that so what happened in those 3 days so that can be mentioned at the end of the program on the last day so that can be said as briefing or if it is school activity then annual report must be read that whatever happened throughout the year the achievements and the activities accomplished so that are included in the annual report but here only we have to mention a line about this that annual report was read or the briefing was done or the report of all the things happened or done during all the uh, all the three days of the campaign was read at the end so that way we mention it and you can also write about the prize distribution certificates services so 
in school functions definitely we distribute prizes so about that we can mention about certificates we can mention if it is something else apart from the school activity we can mention about the services offered there that uh, what services were offered to uh, the people the patients the clients or customers so all that thing can be mentioned that these services were given there were uh, doctors or specialists were called from aims delhi or something like that some <coughs> well known surgeons visited the camp and um, <coughs> just uh, try to spread awareness among the people about whatever the topic was so this way uh, we can include or mention about the services then it can be about what of thanks then we can also mention about speeches so we can mention about the speeches that uh, whoever gave the speech there like the chief guests and the other guests whoever were invited so whoever delivered the speech there and also about the vote of thanks that when before the program was over um the authority or the organizer uh, thanked all the guests and visitors uh, the audience people there so that is to be included and to conclude we can mention about general opinion or feeling that what was the general opinion about the program uh, how do people feel or uh, what they react about um, all that happen so that thing should also be included in the report so this is the way we write a report whether it is a newspaper report or a report uh, related to some school event or such now see there is a difference between newspaper difference between newspaper report and the report that we have to write for some school magazine or something like that because in such reports like uh, school reports we don't mention the place we don't have to mention the place we directly uh, write the title of the thing or event happen and then we uh, start writing the report so there we don't have to include the name of the place or date date can be mentioned but it's not necessary of course um, um, like here we mentioned at the side left side of uh, the incidents or the report so same way you can mention the date at the left side and also we don't mention the name of the writer because in newspaper reports the name of the reporter must be included that is important but here we don't have to mention the name of the reporter that is the difference so i hope you understand how to write a report now so thank you for watching this video for other topics watch the next video thank you very much okay